Hi, this is Jay Haskab, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we're going through the configuration of the communication or radio settings for the Trimble S5, S6, S7, S8, S9, and VX robotic total stations. First, let's quickly just talk about how these radios work. The first thing to remember is that the antenna on both the instrument and the controller need to be angled vertically. Also, these robotic radios are line of sight instruments, so always ensure that you can see the instrument to maintain your radio link. If you're behind an object, you will be in what we call a radio shadow and will not be receiving any radio signal. Looking at a top view of the antenna, these antennas receive and transmit 360 degrees in all directions. However, they do not transmit or receive at the top or the bottom of the antenna. This is why it's important to keep your antennas angled vertically at all times. Now let's look at how we configure the radio settings on the actual total station. The first thing to keep in mind is that the radio settings on the total station and the radio settings on the data collector need to exactly match for these two to communicate with each other. So to set this on the instrument, first turn the instrument on and when the instrument boots up you will see a screen that says select mode. Note down in the lower right hand corner of the screen there will be a 10 second countdown. So you will have 10 seconds to select one of these menus before it goes into a mode where it just waits for a connection. So ensure that the little double arrows are next to setup slash level and pick the enter button to continue. This will bring you to the level bubble screen. Now there's two options here. We can either go into the setup or we can exit. To choose either of these options, select the button below. So if we wish to exit at this point, we would choose this button with the double arrows. But at, for this example, we want to go into the setup. So again, we're going to choose the enter button to continue. Once we're in the setup, select the down arrow button to scroll down so the double arrows are in front of radio settings and pick the enter button. Here you will see we can set the radio channel so to do this scroll down with the down arrow so the double arrows are in front of set radio channel and pick the enter button to continue. Here you will see your current radio channel. This can be set to any number you wish by picking the next button and to do this with the double arrow next to the word next pick the enter button and it will change the radio channel to the next number. If we're satisfied with the current channel or the number that's displayed on the screen, we can then scroll down so the double arrows are next to the word set and then pick enter to save that channel. Next we want a down arrow to set network ID, Just pick the enter button, and the process is the same as the channel. We can use the next button to set this number to, what, to whatever we desire and once we're happy with the number we will scroll down to set and pick enter to save that setting. Once we've done that, scroll down again so back is highlighted. One thing to note is there is no up arrow so we cannot scroll up. You will need to scroll down to the bottom and then when you get to the bottom it'll go back up to the top. Once the double arrows are in front of back, hit the enter button. We will get back to the setup menu. You can scroll down if you need to to get back to the top so exit is the selection, pick the enter button, and then this will bring us back to the level bubble. And now instead of picking the button below setup, we're going to pick the double arrows below exit so we can exit this screen. This will bring us back to the select mode screen where we will again have our 10 second countdown. After the 10 second countdown, your instrument will go into a connection mode where it'll say waiting for connection and on the screen it will actually display the channel and the network ID that you've selected. Then at that point it is waiting for your controller to connect to it. Now let's take a look at how we set the radio channel and the network ID on the controller to match what we've just selected on the instrument. Now in Trimble Access we will need to configure our radio to match what we just set in the instrument. So we're going to go to settings and in settings we're going to choose connect and in connect we are going to choose radio settings. Here you can see our current radio channel and our current network ID does not match our instrument that we just set up. So we need to change these numbers and these need to be exactly the same as what's set on our instrument. So we are going to change our radio channel to 21 
and then we're going to tab and then we'll change our network ID to 72 and then we'll hit enter and then to save it we will hit accept. Then we can pick the Trimble icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen and then choose Trimble Access from the list to get back to our main menu and then we can open General Survey and now you can see that on the bottom it's saying Starting Robotic Connection. This means that we have successfully configured our radio settings and once the instrument shows up on the right, there we go, now we are talking to our instrument and we are ready to survey robotically. And that concludes our tech talk on configuring the radio settings in a Trimble S5, S6, S7, S8, S9, or VX total station to talk with our controllers in the field. Hope that you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.